great to finally get back to some normalcy. Um, and we welcome you to this year's second annual Ellicott City Summer Band Camp. Um, so we hope you uh, are, have a great afternoon, or uh, morning rather, of music. And it's been such a pleasure working with everyone um, up to this point. The, the young people really are amazing. So um, we welcome you. And we're going to completely change moods. And I'm going to introduce our next um, conductor, Mr. Bell. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're going to kind of spread our acknowledgments and thank yous out amongst our, the directors of the program, so that I won't stand here talking for too long. So I'm going to take care of a few while our brass players are rearranging for the next piece. Uh, the first group of campers I would like to point out to you um, is that a significant number of these musicians on the stage are first and second year players. Uh, they may only play at their, in their school programs for one or two years. Uh, about 70% of the campers just are rising fourth and are rising fifth and sixth graders. Uh, this is a very brave thing to do for a, a, a elementary school student, for their parents to take them to Mount Cover High School, which looks about 10 times the size of the building they go to school in, send them down the hall, they walk into the huge not every band, and there's 120 players in there. And some of them are really good. And they're all in there warming up, and, you can, and, and it was, it's been really neat to see the transformation of the youngest players from a lot of them the first day. They just came in and sat down and looked around like, whoa. And then as the camp went on over the two weeks, they became, they grew up into just like what everyone else was doing, and they became comfortable and acclimated. So, um, I really would like to take a moment and thank our youngest campers. If you are a rising fifth or rising sixth grader, could you stand up right now so we can see how many of you are Thank you for joining us on this journey. We hope you keep coming so that then you can someday be those older leaders that we have and we'll acknowledge in a little while, so thank you. Um, another acknowledgement I need to make is the, is the, uh, the folks at Mount Hebron High School who hosted us for the last two weeks, uh, band director Joe Fisher and the Mount Hebron uh, Boosters. Uh, the camp would not be possible and without their support, and they open up their facility and their room and their percussion instruments, and we pretty much took over their facility for the last two weeks. They were extremely gracious hosts, and we would not be able to have the camp without a great facility and cooperative people. So I'd like to thank the Mount Hebron Boosters and Joe Fisher Band Director. Moving forward to the next piece, we're going to uh, take you to a completely different time period. We opened up with a modern band composition, Seconds Out. Now we're going to uh, go back in time to a composer who lived in the 1500s during the Renaissance. And uh, the Battle of Milan is a Renaissance dance that's been that was composed by uh, Susato and part of a collection of dances called the Danseré. And we discussed in some of our sectionals that the Renaissance was a time of rebirth in the arts after a period of dark sickness, which sounds a little bit familiar like what some of us have experienced over the last few years. So in the Renaissance, everyone played instruments and danced, and they just got together and did it for fun. And tons of great music came out of that. And that's, I think that's a good parallel to what we've done for the last two weeks. We've just gotten together and had fun playing our instruments. So uh, we'll take you back now to the 15, 1600s, and we hope you enjoy Battle of Bonn.
next piece, I'd just like to make a few thank yous. Um, so I would like to acknowledge, and he's here today, which is good, but I don't want to embarrass him too much. Um, but the founder of the original camp, the Centennial Lane Band Camp, Summer Band Camp, um, was Mr. Frank Owens at Centennial Lane. And it started off really small at Centennial Lane. And then um, he was kind enough to invite me, I think it was 19 years ago, to join him over at, um, we changed locations to Burley Manor. And then we really started, to, the camp started to grow and grow and grow from there. Um, so, Frank Owens, if you're here, if you wouldn't mind, I know you do, if you could stand up so we can acknowledge you. Um, And another um, company, but really um, David Federley, the owner of Baltimore Brass Company. Um, David Federley is a world-renowned musician. He's a tubist. Um, teaches at Juilliard, or, or taught at Juilliard, I believe, and I think Peabody. Um, BSO, tubist. Um, but as a side gig, he decided to open up a music business on this time. So they have a, um, I, I just thank him so much for taking us on um, as a, they sponsor us. Uh, and just, he's even come in for master classes at times. So, um, David Federal and now his wife, Sally Wagner, who are actually retired. Um, but I just thank them and, and their staff, um, the Baltimore Brass Company, for everything they've done for us over the years. So, thank you. I'm going to read you a little bit of the composer's thoughts so you can get in the mood for Softy Speaks tonight. A soft hush begins to fall over the land. The busy chatter of the day gradually calms and quiets. Light loses its strength as day approaches its end and night settles in. So hopefully you'll capture the, the spirit of this piece.
Good morning. This is not afternoon yet, hopefully. Um, my name is Saul Green. I'm the proud band director here at Wildlife High School, and it is, uh, it's an honor to be here uh, sharing music with all of you. Um, I'm actually not conducting, so it feels a little weird out here uh, right now. But um, I need to talk about the people that I need to talk about. And if you want to bring the house lights up, that would be good, if possible. Sorry, Ms. Capilotti. Um, a lot of these students here study privately, and, um, and we have some awesome private teachers in the house. Can we, if you're a private teacher at one of these students here, can you please stand up?
Concerts don't have to be like you sit in a library, right? No? Awesome. Okay, that was a wonderful job. I'm gonna give progression in a second, but we're gonna move on. Um, first, and as you know, um, this is not TikTok camp or video game camp or cell phone camp. We've actually been in here, not on our devices, playing music for two weeks straight. And these campers, I know that can be a challenge for them, but we love that they chose to spend two weeks of their summer with us doing this, and it has really been honored. It's such an honor to do this. So can we please just show some love for these amazing campers? They're, they're a very humble group, and they work really hard and never complain and never give up. So um, we're really excited. The next piece we're going to play is by one of our local Maryland composers, uh, Brian Domages. This is his uh, famous piece, uh, Escape from the Deep.
Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Alexis Calabatinas. I'm one of the uh, directors of the Ellicott City Summer Band Camp. All right, there we go. Um, and thank you so much for being here today to support um, our musicians. Uh, we're really excited to have so many people here, um, not just from our schools, but from our community and our county who are supporting our students. Um, we have Ginger Segal and the Howard County Parents for School Music here today. We want to really thank them for their support of our students and advocating for music in Howard County. So thank you so much. Uh, we're lucky to have so many people supporting music in Howard County. And we um, also have some of our principals and assistant principals from um, our student schools here, so we'd love to recognize you. Um, if I call your name, feel just stand be recognized. Um, we have Kathleen Lopez, the Northfield Elementary School principal. <laughs> we have Christine Young, the assistant principal of Northfield Elementary School. <laughs> and we have Denise Lancaster, the Deep Run Elementary School principal. We're, we also have several Board of Education members and members of our Howard County Executive Leadership Team here with us today. Um, again, if you can stand and be recognized, thank you so much for supporting our students today. <laughs> we have Chow Wu, Board of Education member. We have Vicki Catronio, Board of Education member. Antonia Watts, another Board of Education member. We also have one of our community superintendents, Pat Saunderson. And if we have any other principals, assistant principals, Board of Education members, or executive leadership team members, if you'll please stand and be recognized. If not, we're going to give everyone one more round of applause. Thank you. All right, for our next tune today, we're gonna to play something that I do think will be familiar to many. Uh, this is Cantina Band from Star Wars, and you are gonna to get to hear just a little feature, a drum feature from our percussion section. Uh, they've been hard at work on this, and I'm excited for them to play it. I think they have a lot of fun with it too, so please enjoy.
transition real quickly to a counselor piece. Um, and then I'm gonna talk about the counselor. So people in the first three rows can go to their places that they're supposed to be. So in case you didn't know, um, this camp, we talked about how it's primarily for students going into high school, um, from elementary school, but we also have a significant amount of counselors. A lot of them have been former campers. Um, they're all from a bunch of different uh, area high schools, um, as well as we have three college interns with us. Um, and I want to recognize them first, and they're kind of moving. So the first one is Juan Pock from Manhattan School of Music. Can we put some on? <laughs> we also have Colin Ang. He went to Centennial High School, but he goes to the University of Maryland College Park. <laughs> Double majoring in saxophone and on um, music and theater. And then we also have Allie Happ with us um, from University of Maryland College Park. She's from Ohio. I don't know where she went to high school. But um, she's double majoring in one performance and music education. But so um, it's been kind of a tradition where uh, the second week of camp, during recess, we get together for a very short period of time and we just sort of pick a piece and then we started picking more challenging pieces and then we're kind of at where we are now. So um, we're really excited to present for you um, a great uh, piece by a living American composer named John Mackey. This is his Strange Humors. It was originally written for um, djembe and string quartet when he was a student at Juilliard, but um, he realized that it would sound better without string instruments. No, I'm just kidding. No, but uh, he just he thought that it would sound really great with some beautiful uh, instruments, and we have a wide variety. There's a beautiful English horn solo, and we've got a soprano saxophone, so listen for all those really cool sounds. But here we go, this is Strange Humors. Thank you. 
piece we'd like to play for you. I'm just going to take care of the last couple things while our campers are getting back to their uh, seats. But our last thank you to pass along is to our families. And I count myself, and I know the other directors, we are so blessed and privileged and uh, honored to teach in a community that so highly values the arts in our children's education. And if that weren't being shared at home, this would not be happening here. And it wouldn't be the, the joy and the fun that we've had over the last two weeks making music together. It just wouldn't happen. And I know that's true because it doesn't happen everywhere. So all of us on stage, performers and the directors, uh, we would like to thank all of our wonderful families, parents, grandparents, whoever's involved in that family unit for uh, sharing the value and the joy of the arts with your children and telling them how important it is and supporting their adventures at school and with our summer camp. So I'd like all of us on stage to thank our families, parents, moms, dads, who can everybody else for our The dismissal instructions are very complex. After we finish the last piece, please meet your children in the lobby. That's all there is for that, all right? Anyhow, so we've kind of taken you lots of places. Let's see, we've been, we've escaped from the deep. Uh, we've been to the Star Wars Cantina Band. We've been to the Renaissance and uh, lots of other great adventures. So our last, uh, our last stop for the, for the day is the circus. And we're gonna close with a piece called Big Circus March. Uh, it's important for band students to learn the art form of the march. It's where our art form in this music ensemble originated is marches. And the circus march uh, became prominent in the mid 19, early mid 1900s um, because when the circus came to the small town in America in the 1930s and 40s, it was a huge thing. And everybody went and there was always a band. And it was a live band that played with the circus and they would play for like three hours a night, night after night after night. So these musicians were virtuoso players just by sheer repetition and how much they played. So the circus march, the circus marches became, the thing that made them fun was they were fast and silly and zany and they just took the audience on a ride of fun. So we're gonna, uh, hopefully we will present that amount of fun to you with our last piece. We hope you enjoy Big Circus March.
We don't have an encore, but thank you so much. Uh, we will see you. We always do our camp the last two weeks of July, so if you want to start planning. We also want to, we, we forgot to in, thank some very special people, the amazing Jim Ross Theater staff, led by Diane Caproletti. Please welcome the incredible Jim Ross Theater staff. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. See you next summer.